Y'all ready to get the daggone thing done today? Let's get done, son. I ain't wasting no time with a big old long butt intro. I've got a life that needs getting together. <laughs> Let's just go do it. Starting off with the porch while I got daylight and it's a beautiful sunny day. I need to get this under control. Anytime we do a big old project, the porch takes a hit because we do most of the sawing and stuff on the porch. It's not ideal, but it's convenient and that's what we always shoot for. So it's usually got wood all over it. There's dust everywhere. There's mud from the dogs. The couches are wild. It's just got a lot of stuff on it. All the excess stuff that we get out of that room ends up on the porch and we have to take it over to our junk pile that goes to the dumpster so it just it, it gets the brunt of it during a makeover and we just got done doing a really big portion to the den we did the fireplace and then we did the farmhouse beams so i'm getting this porch done right now so that the next portion of the den makeover doesn't pile on top of all this and then it just makes my job harder i need to tackle it right now because i know it's going to get dirty <laughs> in the future in the very near future i know it's going to get messed up again i don't need it piling up on each other we're just going to tackle it now and get it all tied up and nice out here as tidy as I can with the tornado light blue jeans running around. <laughs> I have a lot of extra wood from the previous projects that we've been doing and I do not get rid of that wood because I know I'm going to need it at some point and I do everything in my home that we do on a budget, on a very strict budget, an envelope budget, anything more than what's in that budget it doesn't get done so any bit of scrap or leftover that we have from any bit of our projects I always keep just in case I need it. Always Shane to the rescue. <laughs> Thought you weren't made that way It's the choices we make We give and take And I know you will keep trying Said I think I know what you mean Pretty good for a dumb machine And you gave me that smile We stood there for a while That was when you woke me up Crash again. I said 
Making this little mini forest. <laughs> Cammy, what is that? What what is that? Stick zombies. Oh, they're zombies. Stick zombies. <laughs> he said they are stick zombies. I thought that's what they were. I'm almost done out here on the porch. I don't want to mop this thing again. I feel like I'm always mopping it because it gets so muddy and I don't know how to not get it muddy. If you have any suggestions on how to, I don't know, cover porch muddy, I don't know. Maybe it's just inevitable because my dogs, but I feel like it shouldn't get that muddy. Like it's a whole coat of mud on top of my porch and there's nothing I can do about it. And it looks dingy all the time. Let me show you this tape on my door thanks to a little dog named Blue Jeans. There is no way that Blue Jeans is responsible for every bit of mud on this daggone porch and on this door. And I'm not going to blame her. I'm just thankful to have her. I'm thankful she's in our family. And I'm thankful to have the porch and the door. So if I have to clean it a hundred billion times, I will gladly do that. If it means I have a happy dog that's always wanting to get inside after using the bathroom. And a porch that is beautiful and serves our family great. She's putting up, up. Of a curse down on the table Knowing there's no way that you'll be able To win this one There are moments that I just stop and I just break down. I left this in here because I wanted you guys to see the very moment. There's so many throughout my journey here on YouTube. But this was a moment in particular that I wasn't expecting. I was filming this while waiting on Shane to come help me move the table. But it's a moment that I just stop and I realize that without God, none of this would happen. Without Jesus, I couldn't do this. Without the Lord, the comments would have made me run a long time ago. Without God, I wouldn't have had the strength to go on. And it's those moments in the middle of just something random that he humbles me down. And he's like, yeah, you can't do this without me, but I got your back. This right here is one of those moments. I know without a shadow of a doubt that my success from YouTube, however little or big you see it, is from him and him alone and his grace is on it. And it will continue until he lifts his hand from it and I move on to other things but don't make no mistake about it nothing you see me do is not by my own strength it's not by my own power but it's by his spirit everything from washing down the windows everything from doing the dishes everything from my confidence I show on here everything is through his power 
by his spirit. I wasn't born with no superpowers. So if I can get it done by his spirit, you can get it done by his spirit. The good thing about it is that he's omnipresent. He is there for me. He is there for you all at the same time. And if you ever feel like you're in a point where you're laughing, you can't go on. You can't lift a hand to do dishes. You can't show grace towards your family. You're having issues with your temper, anything like that. Know that if I can do it by his spirit, you can do it by his spirit because his spirit is there and ready and available for anybody who is in need of him and his assistance. Somebody else in the making first. She just gotta stop all the faking and she'll be there. But she's wondering if it's gonna I'm not gonna mop it. I've decided against mopping it because it's just gonna get muddy again in the next few days. Whenever there's a lot of frost in the mornings and it starts heating up and the frost thaws out and it leaves stuff muddy or it's a rainy day or whatever, it always gets that muddy. So I'm not going to use my time not wisely and waste time mopping this when I could be going ahead and starting on my fridge, which is what I desperately need to do. So we're gonna go start on the fridge. It is bad. And I have like, it, there's breeding grounds in there for sure science projects in there because I have not touched it in months, maybe. Maybe I'm being dramatic. Nope, months probably. Have we fixed the shutter? Testing, the shuttering. Let me go back and watch this. <laughs> I was so happy when one of you guys asked me to clean my fridge out with you guys because the motivation goes both ways. While I can motivate you to get the daggone thing done, your request and your need for me to do it with you motivates me to get the daggone thing done. I am ashamed of myself so ashamed of myself and i'm also so overwhelmed but i kept picturing in my mind those of you who asked me to do this and i kept picturing the smiles on your family's faces when they went to get something out of the fridge and a big old jug of milk didn't hit them in the head <laughs> I kept picturing you guys serving your family well and them being so excited to have a clean fridge because my kids get so excited to have a clean fridge. Shane gets excited to have a clean fridge. Shoot, I get excited whenever it's done. I don't want to do it in the meantime, but once it's over, I'm so glad I did it. So I kept picturing that and you guys in your own home getting the daggone thing done and that is what kept me going. That's oftentimes what keeps me going in different areas where I lack in. <laughs> Blue jeans. <laughs> did y'all see that? <laughs> in areas where I lack in, I, I'm just like you. I don't want to do it. And sometimes I have to just pry myself up to do it because I'm so overwhelmed and I don't know where to start. And I, it's it's been piling up and I just, I don't have the motivation to do it. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not a YouTuber that gets all the things done. I don't have the motivation to get some things done. And that's where you guys come in. And that's where you guys help me a lot. This is not bathroom cleaner. I'm not about to spray down my, my fridge with bathroom cleaner. Am I above that? No, if that's the only thing I have on hand, I mean, it's a cleaning product. But I would prefer not to because that's where our food is stored. So this is an empty bottle, an empty method bathroom cleaner bottle that I'm using. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dilute some of this yellow lemon scented Fabuloso in there, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna fill the rest of it with hot water and shake it out real good like that. That's all you need of that, that's concentrated. Ask me how I know. If you pour this whole daggone thing in there and just use that straight out of there, ask me how I know. That, that's not a good idea. Ask me how I know. A little bit goes a long way, especially when you dilute it. So I'm going to use this. I'm out of my pink grapefruit method spray and that's my favorite. Like I love pink. I just, I like the look of the method bottles. I like the way that they clean. I love method. Out of all of the Mrs. Myers and seventh generation and all that, I, method's my favorite. But method isn't easy to get your hands on. I can get the lavender ones at Lowe's, but I can't find my favorite grapefruit one in Lowe's. And to be honest with you, while I do love them and I do stand method, I do. I ain't never been sponsored by them either. This is God's honest truth. It's still just cleaner. Ajax and Fabuloso work just as well. It'll get you a fridge clean. It'll get your area clean that you need clean. Just go to the Dollar Tree and get you some cleaner. Or better yet, and just do like me and get the fancy method. It's really not expensive, but get the method. And then when you run out of it, just use the bottles because they're cool and their sprayer is the best sprayer you could ever use from any spray bottle ever. I prefer the clear bottles because you can see like the pink and the purples and the colors and I'm a big fan of color. So like, I prefer that over this sticker, this big old sticker around it, but the bottles are still really good. 
I'm tackling this door area first and washing all of the shelves and everything, getting this washed down good so that I can move everything I'm keeping to the door whenever I go to do the inside of the fridge because the inside of the fridge is horrific and I need that completely cleared out. Good thing is I'm about to go to the grocery store, so I'm cleaning this out right on time because most of this stuff is going to be going because it's either out of date, like severely out of date, like November 2023 out of date. <laughs> so I need to get the refrigerator prepared for the next round of groceries and I need to work on rotating my groceries that's something that I slack in a lot if your fridge looks anything like mine if it needs to get cleaning and it's been a while since you have touched that thing go do it right now for me let me know in the comments if you're doing it with me let's do it together I don't want to do it just as much as you don't want to do it but together we're a dream team and we can do the daggone thing plus your family's tired of the five month old spaghetti looking at them funny and they're they love you too much to hurt your feelings to tell you this but I'm telling you it for them they want it clean in there <laughs> you need it clean in there girl heck if they have free time get them involved they visit this fridge at least three times a day hopefully more than that to get their water intake in but at least three times a day they see the mess in there if they got a free minute to help you out make it a family thing my kiddos were on yard duty Shane was also organizing his shed so it was just me I was YOLOing it I was YOLOing and soloing it <laughs> and I liked it better that way because I just wanted to get it done and I was in the zone it's easy to speak out about the way I live but it's a 24 karat dream no supermodel in my dirty jeans, but in my 24 inches heels. I am not pretending. I'm born like this, a game for the reckless. It's so extreme, and I don't really care. I don't really care, yeah. No, I don't really care. I don't really care, yeah. They're calling me a mad woman, mad woman, mad woman. Calling me a mad woman, mad woman.
This is what I like to call the vegetable graveyard. This is where the vegetables come to die in this house. Going in the background, oh my gosh. <laughs> and the weird cheeses that I need for Pinterest recipes that I don't ever use. <laughs> this is grody. These are all clean, by the way. I literally just have nowhere to put them, but they're clean. The only dirty dishes I have in the sink are two plates of bowl and a spatula that just fell in there, so I'm doing good. This smells like fermented baby food, though, and it's, ugh, I gotta scrape it off and scrub it, and I really don't want to. But you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm gonna let it soak, and I'm gonna actually come back to it. Most of the time I say I'm gonna let it soak, and then it, it soaks for the rest of its life. But I'm actually gonna come back to it. Ew, I got it on there. Ew. Uh, I'm gonna actually come back to it here in a minute. Let's see if me letting it soak helps loosen it up a bit. This one isn't bad though. Literally, I just gotta wash this one out. They don't have a whole bunch of junk in there. Now you're playing with everything from the freezer into the fridge just so it it can stay cool while I work on the freezer. The good thing about the freezer is it's not as bad as the fridge was, but it still definitely needs scrubbing down. I'm using this Brillo dish soap and I'm not a huge fan. It smells kind of funny. It smells super chemically. And I know obviously all dish soaps have chemicals in it, but this smells like super chemically. It smells identical to Brillo pads, which I mean, that's a given. I should have known that. <laughs> it suds up really good. It's just definitely not Dawn. There are very few dish detergents that rival Dawn for me. And I think that's why Dawn is so popular. My all-time favorite is Method. Like, <laughs> shocker. <laughs> but I love the maroon Method one, and I love the white Method one. The scents are, are great. I didn't ask for sugar in a coffee, man. I hit me in the head. I am seeing stars. Maybe that knocked some sense into me. I don't know. I talked about in the last video is still working out for me really well where we just put all of our dirty clothes right into the washer it's a little bit different for right now though because the kiddos just did a deep clean in their room and they're in the middle of decluttering and stuff so a lot of the clothes that dirty clothes that were in there are in the hampers so I need to catch up but apart from that the method has been working flawlessly and it's been such a 
breath of fresh air to not be drowning in laundry 24-7. Since the weather is beautiful and it's finally a pretty day, we're moving the trampoline over from the wood line so we can see if we can salvage it and possibly save it if at all possible. My kiddos are going on a little decluttering journey and they are tasked they have been tasked because i walked in there and for like the 10th day in a row it looks like a disaster so they have been tasked to get rid of 100 items it can be accessories dog clothes whatever but there has to be 100 items in the bag i leave it up to them because i don't dictate what my kids keep or get rid of i just go in there and when i see that something's get out of hand the mama and me has to come out and we ain't friends no more and you got and you gotta get rid of some stuff i trust them though and whatever they want to get rid of is whatever they want to get rid of i'm not one to say oh nope not that i meant something bigger or oh nope not that i meant something else once i buy it once i give it to them it is their stuff and they can do what they please with it they're pretty excited though to get rid of all that stuff because they they need the space we have overcrowded their room especially with christmas we didn't do a huge declutter before christmas like we usually do and you can definitely tell so they're really excited to get rid of stuff they're in there going through their stuff right now and put stuff in a bag to donate they're gonna be doing that while i work on the living room here y'all want to explain to me how you're doing it in here are you writing it down or are you just counting we're writing that down. We got nine oh, so far. Oh, okay. They're writing down how many pieces they've got. For every piece that they donate and, they, and declutter, they're writing down a little number so that they know how many they have. You got what, 90 more? Y'all are on a row. No, we got 200. Oh, oh we're doing so 100 we're, each. We're right so they're decluttering 200 pieces. Oh, y'all are on it. Okay, so all right. Down. See, see why I don't interfere? They know what they're doing. That's why I like leaving stuff up to them because they usually go above and beyond my expectations. Almost with everything they do. Me, I'm just, my expectations are about to 10%. <laughs> <laughs> or, <laughs> about to 10 You are my child. Are you decluttering anything, Colton? I don't think so. <laughs> are you drowning in stuff or no? What? Are you drowning in stuff? No. I need to get at least one more coat of paint in this room before we move on to the next phase of the den makeover. But before I do that, I need to sand down the areas where the paint just looked funny and it was kind of like not smooth. Where they had the battens, I had smoothed it out with joint compound, but we had chair roll up too. So there was a line that you could see and feel along the wall. So I'm just going over it with a sander really quickly, like a, just a, a hand sander, not like a motorized one or anything. I'm going through making sure I I get all the nails that I skipped over on the first go around and then I'm going to go in with the next coat of paint and it should be good after that. It covers up all of the lines that I was worried about where we had the joint compound on the beams and stuff. All that's covered so I definitely just needed another coat of paint and now we're ready. After this we're ready to move on to the next phase which will be the next video that you guys see. I told y'all I wasn't joking when you say you miss me and you know I miss you as much as you miss me and I'm going to be showing up more often. And if I know y'all miss me, I'll be here. Have no fear, I will be here. <laughs> can y'all tell I worked on my shutter speed on my camera? I don't have it perfect. You can still sort of see the ripples. And if I sped this up anymore, I had it sped up to begin with. And you can see the ripples really bad. So I slowed it down. But you can still see the ripples, just not as bad. So I'm on the right track. I just need to work on it a little bit more. I don't know what I'm doing. Everything I do, I learn as I go. So I'm trying to figure out this whole LED shutter speed frame rate camera stuff. <laughs> You don't need me You say let's take things slowly I hope you realize You're playing with the fire I know what heartbreak feels like I know I've shed some teardrops I've been here before If we don't stop, if we don't go 
saying what ain't easy I know you can't talk to me But I hope you realize You're playing with fire You were my one and only Until you left me lonely I guess you stopped to care so excited to get the rest of the main living area painted because this paint brightens it up and makes it feel so airy in here i love being in this room love 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 it i am pretty positive that that coat is going to cover those lines perfectly even with that with it not being dry yet i cannot see the lines of the joint compounds where we fix the seams at all so i'm pretty hopeful that will fix it let me share with you a parenting hack i don't do this very often because I don't see myself as qualified enough, even though I have a great relationship with my kiddos. One of the best, probably, and I'm not just saying this like because I'm biased, but I probably have the best relationship with my kids that I've ever seen a mom have a relationship with their kids. And granted, I haven't seen a whole lot of good relationships between kids and moms. <laughs> my own experience, we all know, with my mom wasn't that great. So I haven't seen a whole lot of good relationships between a mother and children. But I still would dare to say that I have one of, I, I have a, a very, very, very good relationship with my kids. One that they're not gonna have to heal from later on in their adult life. And for I'll be forever grateful for that. Still, even with my relationship with my kids as, like it is, I don't ever feel qualified enough to give parenting advice or anything like that just because I don't know your kids. I get questions about what would you do in this situation or what, how would you treat this with your kids? And I usually don't answer those and I don't answer those for a reason. That's because I don't know your kids. I can't give you Advice for kids isn't a one for all kind of thing, right? You gotta know the kid, you gotta know their um, love language, you gotta know how they best learn, what their triggers are. There's a lot that goes into advice for kids. That's why I, I don't like it when advice is given so bluntly across the internet on all the platforms. These people that don't know your kids at all are trying to give you advice on your kids. And nine times out of 10, it ain't gonna work because they don't know that kid. But I will share a little story with you so you can kind of see how my parenting works. I get a lot of flack everywhere, in person, online, everywhere, for being a gentle parenter, a gentle parent. And that's because I talk with my kids. I say sorry to my kids. I exhibit behavior I wanna see from my kids. I'm not a stern parent at all. They're Relationship means everything to me, so I don't want to mess it up by, by being a jerk. You guys have heard my views on parenting and all that stuff, but I will tell you this. We had an incident where the kids, um, how can I say this without? We had an incident where we weren't getting along, right? The kiddos, when you're with someone all the time, they're gonna get on your nerves. They're just, it's just gonna happen. They're gonna get on your nerves. You're gonna get on each other's nerves. You're gonna start to bicker. It's just inevitable, it's gonna happen. And my kids are always together. So it was to the point where we were bickering 24 seven. And I took electronics from my kids' lives. <laughs> I took the electronics away and I let them go outside. 
And I can tell you right now, I can. I would have so many people mad at me. Like, Miranda, that makes no sense. You took your kids' games away so that you could let them go outside to play? Yeah, I did. And I'll tell you why. Because they're outside playing together. They have been outside playing together for the past week. And guess what? Everybody's getting along. It doesn't have to always look so black and white in my house anyway. I try to come up with creative ways to to address whatever situation that we're having and I try to do it in a way where they're not going to hate me during it. Is it a popular way of parenting? No, it's not. <laughs> I can tell you, I know because I hear it all the time, but it fixed the problem and I didn't have to yell and I didn't have to go on about it and I didn't have to hark on them. I literally gave them the privilege of going outside and playing and they have been playing perfectly with one another. In fact, they have been asking as soon as school's over with and everything if they can go outside and play together this coming from it was literally crazy in here y'all <laughs> it was crazy everybody was sick of everybody and now a they're getting sunshine they're getting fresh air they're having the time of their lives out there discovering trees they're discovering mushrooms they're playing zombie dogs right now they got the dogs out there and they're chasing all of them are chasing them and they're doing laps around the house just a parenting hat i'm just saying it don't always have to look so black and white. You can be your child's parent and their friend at the same time, most of the times. There are some times where you gotta break that barrier and go into mom mode, but most of the times you can do both. You can be both. Look, Nanny has these. One of you guys sent her these to my PO box and she still has them, she loves them. I'm ending the day over here with little Nanny. I'm working on getting this area kind of organized for her. I need to bring like some organization methods in here to help her out because she just doesn't have the strength right now to get down here and dig through this stuff. It needs to be in an easily accessible area for her. <laughs> we spent 35 minutes looking for the things that go in her hand mixer <laughs> and we finally found them after I hand mashed the taters so we definitely need to get an organization method in here for her just to make it easier for her to navigate her kitchen she has so much stuff and that's because she's she has stuff that my mamma had that her mama had and stuff she is not getting rid of and i i don't blame her i have stuff that nanny's given me that i don't use it at all but i don't get rid of it because it's special to me so she has a lot of stuff that stuff ain't going nowhere. Nanny is a maximalist anyway. <laughs> so and none of her stuff is going anywhere. She may do a little bit of declutter. She let me get rid of a few lids to some containers she didn't have. And, and I called that a declutter for her. <laughs> I had like eight lids that I could not find the pair to. And she was like, okay, throw it away. And my jaw hit the floor. I was like, you're letting me throw away something. Okay, I'm not asking questions. Just let me get it in the trash can before you change your mind. <laughs> Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope you have a bless more even not whatever it is wherever you're at know that i love you but jesus loves you so much more i'll see y'all later